Hello everyone, welcome to A Moment in Time with Taylor. I am back with my normal voice and happy almost New Year to you guys. It is New Year's Eve officially here in New York where I am broadcasting from. My business is Fem Yoga. You can learn more at my website, femyoga.com. And tonight we are going to play a trivia game. So this will help you learn some new facts if you don't know all the answers. Um, hey, Lizzie, you were the first comment to the broadcast. Hey, Justin, yeah, we've been coming a long way. We're always improving the channel. That's what your sponsorship money has gone towards. So thank you for your long-term support. Hello, Lise. Thank you for inviting your followers. Nick, if you're new to the channel, you can follow me. I'll put the button on the screen. In case you're new to Periscope, you don't know how to do it. Hey, Ashley, my naked pooping with the door open friend. Mock, the selfie, what's up? See, I talk normal. I'm not that weird. I mean, I'm pretty weird. Hey, MVG. I'm not in Long Island. I'm upstate New York. Thanks for inviting your followers. Selfie, Jeremy. Thank you, Justin. So actually, speaking of financial support, I turned my super hearts off for this broadcast because I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So whoever wins this trivia game is going to win this book called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy, 21 Great Ways to Stop Procrastinating and Get More Done in Less Time. I have, <laughs> actually, I have read this book twice and it is awesome. This book has really impacted my life and made me a lot more productive, a lot more effective and efficient, because the truth is you can do anything, but you can't do everything. You can. So this book talks about doing the most important and the hardest things every single day. It's really short, easy to read, and whoever wins the trivia game is going to win this book. So because I'm doing a giveaway, I can't have the uh, super hearts on. Yes, near Rochester. You're sick, Jeremy. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, you fart quietly? Well, we can still be like best friends. Um, can we do that in a while? <laughs> the procrastination book. <laughs> so if you do want to support the channel financially, you can still do that at femyoga.com by clicking support Fem Yoga, which will go towards helping the channel to uh, be more impressive all the time and always improve. And now we're going to start with the questions. Kermit doesn't like that book, I know. Beer Mike, what's up, Mike? Hey, Hazard. 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 You sound, seem familiar. Step one to stop procrastinating, delete Periscope. Don't delete me, Jordan, no. If I win, I'll give it away because I won't win. <laughs> Where's Kylo? <laughs> you have a friend? Ashley. Do we just become best friends? Yep. You know what that's from? Step Brothers, I think. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Hi! Oh, Ibori! I always want to call you Al. I'm just going to always call you Al. The ASMR fart scope is on my replay. Check it out. All right, first question. The category is athletic feats. There's probably quite a lot of lag. Justin checking lag. Um, it gets really crazy on trivia scopes, too. When I ask the question, everyone's going to try to answer. First person to answer correctly gets a point, and that's on my screen. Now, if you're going to win, Lizzie, all right, all right, I'll get, I'll get to it. Shut the front door. Um... I love, I'd love to get over procrastinating sometime next week. Good, David. That's perfect. 30 seconds. 30 seconds until what? What's happening? Uh, oh, 30 second lag. It's only going to get worse. So get ready for it, you guys. What is soccer player Luis Suarez notorious for? Hey, Alan. What is soccer player Luis Suarez notorious for? <laughs> Blue. 30 second lag, yeah. What is soccer player Luis Suarez notorious for? Biting, Stihun Frank, that is correct. Not flopping, not headbutting. Yes, biting, that's correct. So Stihun Frank got it first. If you feel like you're on a big lag, maybe try going out of the broadcast and coming back in. Stihun Frank gets a point, and there he is. I don't think we have a heart race tonight, guys. I apologize, egg drop is not working. It's acting like I'm not even live, and that's on my last three broadcasts, so. There's no way that guy beat you. Oh, he beat you. Read it and weep. All right, next question. Category is pop culture. Pop culture. Oh, I didn't even remember this. Okay, you don't want to leave me. All right, this one is for two points, and you have to have both answers in the title, in, in one comment. I'm sorry. Both answers in one comment. There are two answers, and there are two names. You have to have the first and last name of both people. So first and last name and first and last name, and then I, that person will get two points. All right, so both points go to one person, and the question is, what two singers did Madonna share a kiss with during the MTV Music Awards? What two singers did Madonna share a kiss with during the MTV Music Awards? 
Hey, Jay. Yeah, it's Saturday night. You're watching trivia. You don't have to watch trivia. There's next. Ron Paul and Rand Paul. <laughs> Sharon Bieber. Hold on, let me Google that up. <laughs> Chad and Taylor. Britney Spears. Britney Spears, not Lady Gaga. Brit and Christine. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. There's someone who actually followed the rules. I R A Selly. Ira. Ira. Ira Selly. Is that all one word? Ira Selly. That's fun to say. Ira Selly, welcome to my broadcast. I'm Taylor, and I do three hours of content on this channel every. Oops, sorry, that was two points. Every single day. So feel free to follow if you like. When we get to 20 million super hearts total, I'm going to do a $500 giveaway on this channel. So it's worth the follow, I would say. Yay, Ira Selly. Okay, I like to say that. You got it on your screen, I know. That's the worst part of trivia. It always looks like you got it first. You and your girlfriend. <laughs> That's your, that's your girlfriend's name, my, first name, my, last name, girlfriend. Thank you. All right, next category is anything goes. Anything goes. What Canadian city features the iconic CN Tower? What Canadian city features the iconic CN Tower? I would not have known this. I also wouldn't have known Christina Aguilera. I only remembered Britney Spears. What Canadian city, Toronto, Dom Highland, yeah, it's a little bit of a typo, but it's close enough. I'll give it to you. Wait, what did I say? Dom the Highland? Is that your name? Dom the Highland? Dom Highland. Just Dom Highland. Okay. Dom. Nope. Oh, we're still in caps. Dom Highland. For one point. Congratulations. Welcome to my scope. I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you. Yes, Toronto is correct. A lot of you guys got that. Steve and John, 64 Chev, Totanto. <laughs> I like that one, Justin. Welcome back. It's always nice to see you, by the way. Hello, iHammer. Welcome to Periscope. I'm Taylor, and it's my favorite app. Next category is past, present, and future. What U.S. amendment guarantees free speech? What U.S. amendment guarantees free speech? Lizzie, maybe try going out and coming back in, see if it's better. I don't know. I just feel like people with really fast Wi-Fi always, like, win. The first, Dom Highland again. Yes, the First Amendment. It is the First Amendment. Mm -hmm, the First Amendment. All right. Next category is Geek Chic. Geek Chic. You join Procrastinators Anonymous? Well, this book is for you then. I, no, I don't do nudes. You keep watching this? Why are you baffled? You said first, first? You're always first on your screen. I'm sorry. You could try going out and coming back in. I know that's really annoying. He said one, I said first. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan has three points on his, on his score sheets. <laughs> okay, which planet is closest to the sun? Which planet is closest to the sun? I actually did not know this either. I would have been wrong. What planet is closest to the sun? Do I agree with ADHD? <laughs> agree with it? What do you mean? Not Mars, not Mer Mercury, Stephen Frank. Ooh, we got a three-way tie here. Look at this. A two, 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 two. Mercury is closest to the sun. I would have said Venus. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know things. I don't even know how to say that. Oh my god, am I going to say this right? I'm pretty sure I'm not going to say this right, so don't block me. And you look like you're into getting blocked. Don't worry, absence makes the heart grow fonder, and if you'd like to be unblocked, you can go to femyoga.com, sponsor the channel, and I will unblock you. Just put your Periscope username, tell me you want to get unblocked. But for now, enjoy your night, and Happy New Year. Okay, not Jupiter. <laughs> Alright, the next category, the last category, we, we cycle through six categories. This one is We're Booked. My favorite category, because I love me some books. I read a new book every week. I'm never good at trivia either. Don't sweat it. <laughs> We're booked. Okay. What kind of animal is Iorek Byron, Byronison? 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 What kind of animal is Iorek Byronison in The Golden Compass? The Golden Compan Compass. <laughs> what kind of animal is Iorek Byronison? Byronison. Not a wolf. Yo quiero el libro. Yo quiero, yo quiero. 
Not cat, not dog, not bear. Uh, it's only, this book is $16 if you want to buy it yourself. Polar bear, Stephen Frank. It is a polar bear. Someone did say bear. Yeah, but polar, polar bear, not just bear. That's a bear, but I feel like, you know, if it was a brown bear, a black bear, a grizzly bear, that's a bear. But a polar bear is a polar bear. Yes, yes, I make the rules. That's the good thing. If you don't like my rules, just do your own broadcast, do your own trivia, and you can play however you want, because it's nothing but love. All right, next category, we're back to athletic feats. You did say bear, that's true, that's true, but I feel like testing, hi Nick. Rigged, no it's not rigged, Sin, I swear. I swear, me and Frank barely know each other. <laughs> All right, what is that? I don't know what this is, but hopefully someone knows what it is. Where was the game futsal invented? F-U-T-S-A-L. Hey Hanadi, hey Eric. Where was the game futsal invented, or futsal, F-U-T-S-A-L, the game futsal, or futsal, not Brazil, Italy, Germany, Brazil, Thailand, France, Iran, India, Portugal, Barcelona, Turkey, Britain, Spain, no, I see that some of you guys know the right language, but we haven't quite got the country yet. I'll ask the question again. Where was the game, and it is the country we're looking for. Where was the game futsal invented? Thank you for saying it's cool what I'm doing. I appreciate that. I missed who said it, but. Mm -mm. No. All right, I'm going to ask one more time, and then I'm going to give a 10-second countdown. If no one gets it, we're going to move to the next question. Where was the game futsal invented? Not Portugal again, although that's close. Nicaragua is also close. Is that like the game Fartsall? <laughs> yes, it is. Not Argentina, Chile. No, you guys are kind of close. Ecuador, you guys are getting close. Cuba, no. <laughs> Definitely not North Korea. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. One second left. No, no. We're going to move on to the next question. I don't see that anybody got that one. Okay, lots of comments coming in here. So I'm going to give you guys a second. The next category is pop culture. And the next question is, I know the answer to this. Okay, sorry, I get excited when I actually know the answers. You guys can stop guessing. I know you probably have stopped guessing, but you might want to leave the broadcast. Uruguay, Hugo Chavez. Yes, it is Uruguay. Boom. All right, now stop guessing because it's going to make the lag absolutely insane. So if you leave the broadcast and come back in, that's going to help you to beat that lag that probably just got. Yeah, Lizzie Bear got Uruguay after a while too. And Blue in the Vein, I'm just now seeing your comments. I'm sure you said them a while ago. Detroit. <laughs> yeah, your Uruguay came in like three minutes after his. No, not that long, but like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute after the other guy. So long ago. I told you. I told you trivia gets really lagged. That's why I don't really love hosting it all the time. <laughs> all right. Pop culture. Piper Chapman is the lead female role in which drama series? You sent your comments last year. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, Chelsea. You like my shirt? Thank you. Are you trying to get points? Right, M. Scott? Exactly. It sounds like you need this book. Orange is the New Black. Stephen Frank, that is correct. This is one that I knew. Stephen Frank has his eyes. Uh, oh, <laughs> myself in the face. I got my eyes on your prize, too. Orange is the New Black. Okay. That's correct. Ahem, next category. Anything goes. Yeah, a lot of you guys knew that. Anything goes. Um, I need first and last name. First and last name to get the point. One point. What scientist formulated the laws of motion? Your typo was funny. What did it say, Iris Ellie? What scientist formulated the laws of motion? I did get my nails done. Not for a while, though. Isaac Newton! That's correct, Dom Highland. It is Sir Isaac Newton. Three points for you. 
You got your eyes on the prize too, don't you, Dom? It is Isaac Newton, correct. Yeah, and Newton wouldn't have counted. Counted. You have to do the first and the second. <laughs> See, Fisk said my lag is huge like my. <laughs> sir, it is Sir, but that's not his name. You only need his first and last name. You don't ever have to put, like, Mr. or President or anything. Three minutes ago. <laughs> Jordan says he has four points now. Fig Newtons. All right. Past, present, and future. Who did the United States buy Alaska from? Oregon is the new France. <laughs> Any history questions? Yep, past, present, and future. Who did the United States buy Alaska from? There's your history questions, then. What do you think? Your answer always comes in a half, an, a half a minute later. Maybe try Russia, Stephen Frank. Maybe try leaving the broadcast and coming back in. Uh, it seems like Frank probably has the fastest Wi-Fi of all of us, so he might win. Increase your Wi-Fi speed. <laughs> Next category is Geek Chic. This is the last of the... Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Geek Chic. Oh, God, this one's going to get so many answers. <laughs> Russia was correct, yeah. And uh, um, okay, so I'm just I just now saw you, Lizzie. I just saw your Russia, and then uh, V4. I just saw your Russia too. Sorry, guys. If you guys come back and watch the replay, you'll find that typically the person I said got it first did come in first on the actual server. So it might be that your internet is like a little bit slow, or I don't know. I don't know. Geek chic. Do peanuts grow above or below ground? You got a 50-50 shot. Anyone, this is anyone's game. Do peanuts grow above or below ground? Lag, Ashley. Was that a test? You said Russia before I asked the question. Well, that doesn't count. Thank you, Lizzie. <laughs> below, yes, yeah, Stehoon. I think that was Stehoon. I feel bad that he keeps getting them all. That's how it works, right, Frank? Below ground there, Lizzie. I saw that. That seemed like that one was a little less delayed. A lot of you guys said, I would have said above also. It's below. It is below. Below ground. Oh, this is pretty dark. This is dark. It's about to get dark. Last category. We're booked. How did... It... Oh, you guys... Penises grow above ground. A penis doesn't grow on the ground. Everyone's talking about penises. This is hilarious. Okay, you want a refund? You didn't pay anything, Jordan. <laughs> Frank, don't tell them I told you the answers beforehand. That's not how this works. Hey, Alexis. All right. How did English writer Virginia Woolf kill herself? In Spanish, please. En español, por favor. Lo siento, inglés. How did English writer Virginia Woolf kill herself? You love peanuts? I also do too, but I don't like that you are a peanut. You love Taylor Swift? Drowning! Oh my god, Lizzie, was that you? Lizzie, 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 was that you? Lizzie! I love how Stephen Frank says suicide. How did she kill herself? Suicide. <laughs> Drowning Lizzie Bear! Yes! Lizzie's got that shit! I love it. I love looking girls on the board. Wow, see, I told you this got really dark really fast. This is, how do you even drown yourself? Oh God, you guys stop. Oh, okay. Next category, athletic feats. Hey, Gina. You're going to think about winning the book later, <laughs> the procrastination book. <laughs> Maybe you should just go buy it. <laughs> Suicide Girls. Oh God, not all of my answers are intelligent. <laughs> you were probably trying to answer before I finished the question. I get it. She walked into a river. Oh my god. All right. Athletic feats. Which NFL football team did Bill Walsh coach? Which NFL football team did Bill Walsh coach? NFL football team. Bill Walsh is the coach. Your answer is... Okay, okay, I win. You follow me. What? The Bills, the Bears, the Chargers. I'm procrastinating on my answers. I think I'll buy the book. 49ers, Frank Marufo. Correct. Marufo. Welcome, Frank. I'm Taylor. I do three hours of content every single day on this channel. So follow me. And when we get to 20 million super hearts, I'm going to give away $500 cash. So even if you don't win this book today, which we're also giving away, 
um, then, oh, I didn't finish, I didn't say, I don't have super hearts on because we hit our financial goal. We hit our financial target for this month for 30 days. And I figured, hey, that means that we don't have to get super hearts now. We can just focus on having fun and giving away some books. All right. Pop culture. I need first and last name to count. So you have to say this person's first and last name to get the point. And the question is, what famous Swedish actress married Italian neorealist film director Roberto Rossellini? Hey, Kylo. Uh-oh, everyone's, everyone was like happy you weren't here, Kylo. They're like, maybe I'll win. But now Kylo is here. <laughs> What famous Swedish actress married Italian neorealist film director Roberto Rossellini? Hey, hockey, welcome. Greta Garbo, Elsie Summers. Nope. Ingrid Bergman, S.A. Johnson 13. That is correct. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the game. Thanks for being here. Ingrid Bergman, yep. Chavez got that too. 64 Chev, yep. Ingrid Bergman is correct. Wow, a lot of you guys knew that. I don't know who that is. Lizzie knew that. This is great. Yeah, Frank's glad to have a little bit of a lead. <laughs> All right, next category is anything goes. What breed of dog got its name from a word meaning to splash in water? The Muppets chef. Oh my God, selfie. One day I will make the list. Yeah, Ashley, I know nothing also. What breed of dog got its name from a word meaning to splash in water? Not Kali. Don't feel dumb, V. You're not dumb. You've gotten a lot of the answers. It's just other people have faster internet. Not Chihuahua, Shih Tzu, Labrador, Beagle, Spaniel, German Shepherd, Chinese, <laughs> Chinese, <laughs> Dalmatian, Golden Retriever, Dachshund, Retriever, Labrador, Shih Tzu. No. Nope. Bengals. Poodle! The Joshua Lambert. It is Poodle. I didn't know that either. But I do know that Poodles are hypoallergenic, which means they don't shed. They have hair instead of fur, so if you're allergic to fur, get a poodle or any other dog that is hypoallergenic. Okay. Poodle! There you go, Ashley. See? You know stuff. Die guy, you got poodle. See? You guys know stuff. Puddle. <laughs> yeah, Josh! High five! Poodle, puddle, the. <laughs> you're gonna win this, Keegan? Alright, let's do it. They're also ugly. You got it, Ashley. <laughs> How do you win a date with me? Um, I don't know. You're gonna have to take it up with my husband. What kind I got? I don't have dogs. I have a cat. Um, this is a video. This is not live, Anthony. All right. Past, present, and future. What is the capital city of Mexico? How's that? You're going to lose this, Ashley. That's <laughs> me too. <laughs> That's the trick. That's why I host trivia, because I actually can't win trivia without just hosting it. And you don't win it. Gluten-free. Gluten-free dogs. Yes, exactly. Mexico City, Stephen Frank. That is correct. It is indeed Mexico, La Ciudad de Mexico. Don't no, I don't think they. Is it Spanish people or Mexican that have like a little lisp when they say their X's? Mexico. No, that's not. Nobody says that. That's just me. Mexico. No. <laughs> no. Okay, moving on. Geek chic. Everyone's saying Mexico City. Jalisco. You thought that question was a joke? <laughs> Spanish has the lisp. Okay, okay. Okay. Spain. Okay. So what do they just say? Ciudad de Mexico? Mexico? <laughs> what? Scoops? Andre, don't judge me. Yeah, I blocked them. They're blocked, Gina. I blocked them immediately. <laughs> <laughs> <That's cute. laughs> what was the name of the world's first cloned sheep? What was the name of the world's first cloned sheep? Barcelona. <laughs> She's trolling. I'm not trolling. Dolly, Jordan Davis. That is correct. That is correct. Welcome to the fun. Jordan Davis. You got a point. Congratulations. It is Dolly. Dolly was the name of the world's first clone sheep. And we are on our sixth category. We are booked. The question is, okay, you're going to need this person's first and last name. 
first and last name. And here's the question, <laughs> lamb chop. <laughs> and if you're getting really bad lag, which happens on the trivia because so many people are commenting, you're com everything is kind of delayed. So if you leave the broadcast and come back in, I know, Andre, I know. That's why we only do this for like an hour at a time. <laughs> Everyone's celebrating you didn't get points, Frank. <laughs> Polly, that's a good one, Kenga. Um, so you might want to leave and come back. That might help with the lag. All right. Question is, what American physician, poet, professor, and author wrote the poem Old Ironsides, which was published in 1830? What American physician, poet, professor, and author wrote the poem Old Ironsides, which was published in 1830? No lag for you, Ashley. And do it! Hello, Ed. Not Mark Twain. Not Keegan Williams. That's you. Not Walt Whitman. Edgar Allan Poe. Nope. Nope. You have to say the full name. Oliver Cromwell, Poe, Samuel Clemens, Charlie Murphy, Mark Twain, Oliver Wendell, Livingston, John Steinbeck, Holmes. Good morning, Ed. I'm so happy to see you. Ernest Hemingway, Stephen King, no idea. I'll ask the question one more time. What American physician, poet, professor, and author wrote the poem Old Ironsides, which was published in 1830? No, Kylo. Sorry, I should have told you it wasn't Thoreau. Leonardo DiCaprio, Thomas Jefferson, Jim Soroka, Benjamin Franklin, Oliver Wendell Holmes, country music singers. That is correct. Yes. I love it. Do you do country music singing scopes? You guys, if you like country music, follow that person, if they do scopes. Oliver Wendell Holmes Sr., that's right, Lizzie, Lizzie even got the senior in there. <laughs> hey, Chris. Old McDonald, there you go, hockey. Next category is athletic feats. The question is, if you are steering your boat starboard, which way are you taking it? Was that Junior? Hey. If you are steering your boat starboard, which way are you taking it? Starboard. Starboard? Starboard? Right. Stephen Frank. That is correct. A lot of you guys got that, but he got it first. Some of you guys said left, which is actually not, not correct. Right is right. Next category is pop culture. Yes, this is a dream. You are dreaming about all of these amazing facts going into your brain. I'm hungry. Okay. Pop culture. Backwards. All right, so you guys, if you are on a lag, because questions like that, you get <laughs> east, <laughs> west, and you're killing me. Um, if you have a big lag, because a lot of people guessed on that, go ahead and um, leave the broadcast and come back in. The fastest internet gets a book. There you go. <laughs> Kevin Spacey stars in what straight-to-Netflix drama? Kevin Spacey stars in what straight-to-Netflix drama? Too many smart people, Keegan, I feel you. House of Cards, see who Frank. Frank Marufo got that next, then Lizzie, then Andre, then Dr. Horrible, then Swifted Taylor, then Keegan, then Joaquin, then, no, not Kevin Bacon, then Joshua Lambert, then S.A. Johnson, then Krista, then Electrical Dude, then Blue, then Araceli, then Justin, yes, Ayatollah, Kylo, Chris, a lot of you guys got that crimson, Blue said it again, none he got fired, <laughs> there you go, <laughs> he got fired, <laughs> maybe starred would have been better, this game must have been made before he got fired, not a great timing for the question, right? Yeah, Steve and Frank, you want that Wi-Fi, right? You're smashing. Don't, Andre, don't smash it. You left and came back and you're like the 20th answer. Yeah. Well, everyone knew that one. So that's pretty common. Someone someone has to come in first, you guys. I'm sorry. You just got to type very, very fast. All right. Anything goes. I'm going to need first and last name for this. If you know this, which I would definitely know. Don't give up, Ashley. We'll come back to my other broadcasts. They're not all so stressful. Um, hey, Ken. I'm sorry. I know. I don't really like playing trivia myself, but a lot of people do, including sponsors. So I cater my content to my sponsors, and that's what we're doing here. What 
clip. Okay, who is the builder of the first motorbike? Who is the builder of the first motorbike? You're switching to cellular? Okay. The Ranch with Ashton Kutcher? I don't have Netflix then. I almost just said the name of the person. Who is the builder of the first motorbike? First and last name, if you know it. Bob, Bob the Builder. Harley Davidson? No. Nope, nope, nope. I've never heard of this person. Who is the inventor of the first motorbike? Everyone thinks it's Harley. It's not Harley. Mm -mm. Nope, not seeing the answer. So I'm going to ask one more time, and then I'm going to give 10 seconds. If no one gets it, we're going to move on to the next question. I'll have to ask it first. Nope. Who is the builder of the first motorbike? Who is the builder of the first motorbike? <laughs> Texas, you invented everything. Leonardo da Vinci. Wilhelm Maybach. No. You're questioning your college education, right? Right, Keegan? Orville Redenbacher. No. Henry Ford. Amanda Hug and Kiss. No, not Wilhelm. Indians because they were here first. No, not Mr. Motorcycle. <laughs> not Thomas Edison. All right, not George Washington Carver. Good guesses. Moving on to the next category, past, present, and future. Yes, it might trigger you, but I don't tell you the answers if you guys don't know it. That way I can use it in future trivia scopes. This one I would know. What was the first national park in the United States? What was the first national park in the United States? Thank you, Ferrari. Hello. Ree. What was the first? Uh, not Yosemite. Yellowstone is correct. Wait. Be, huh, huh, huh. I had to block someone really quick. B.M. Llamas. Yellowstone is correct. B. M. Llamas. Boom. Congratulations. You are on the board. Welcome to Fem Yoga. Thank you, J0070. Yellowstone is correct. A lot of you guys got it. You got it, Ashley? Psh, high five. Someone blocked Frank. Oh my god, did I block the wrong person? Holy heck. Did I block Stehoon? Oh my god. Oh god. No. I blocked the guy with all the points. No, Frank. Frank! I tried to block the penis picture. You got blocked with the crossfire. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I'm such a bad person. He's a snuggy aficionado. Alright, let's give him a little while to come back in. You guys want to see the stuff I got in the mail? Someone tell me when Frank's back in the house. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> so I got these hoodies, Defy Limits. This is the Femme Yoga brand, FY here. So I got these hoodies, something a little different. So if you don't want something that just says Femme Yoga straight out, you can do something like the notebook for him, right, Scoops? I know, I'm fired now, right? Defy Limits. So it's a way that's a little bit more gender neutral. If the guys like this kind of design, you can go to femyoga.com and click store, and <laughs> Kylo, you would say that. Click store, and at the top there, you'll see where you can create your own custom Fem Yoga merchandise. And I got one for me, and I got another one for Miss Dorita, and she is one of our sponsors. She has sponsored for six consecutive months. So I've created a new tradition. Every time a sponsor has sponsored for six months, I buy them some something, uh, whether it be merchandise or something else. So far we've done merchandise because we haven't been doing this long enough to have more than, you know, more than six months at a time. But maybe at your one year anniversary, you'll get a different kind of present. But this is what we got. So I got this for Dorita. I got this for Miss Sarah, who also just hit her six month. Uh, I already unblocked him, you guys. Um, for her six months of sponsoring, one Yoda right there. And this is actually a tote bag. So you can get tote bags. 
Okay. She's got a lot of stuff that already says Fem Yoga on it. And then I got her this as well, which is like a sweater material drawstring bag. Like that. And this one actually says Fem Yoga on it. You think he's blocked or uh, muted? Yeah, he might be. Sometimes they seem to be muted, sometimes not. I will say this is like way too dark for my logo. They have a lighter gray one like this. So it looks a lot better on that. I had to test it to see. Here, his mom calls you, okay. And then the last one is a mug, also for Miss Sarah. Some yoga. So that's what I got in the mail today. Thank you guys for all the support. When you hit six months of sponsorships, you will get your own special surprises and gifts. So if you want to do that, you click femyoga.com, click support femyoga, and that's how you can get stuff. So I'm sorry, Frank. Frank, if you're like messaging me anywhere, um, I feel bad. Like I should just send him something if he doesn't win. He might win anyway. He hasn't messaged me, so I'm sorry, Frank. I turned off Super Hearts because I, one, can't have Super Hearts turned on when I do a giveaway. I'm going to be giving this away to the winner. And two, because I hit my financial target for 30 days today, at, thanks to Nick. And I just want to say thank you guys by doing a giveaway instead of asking for Super Hearts from you guys. Hey, Graham, how are you, my friend? Uh, no, this is just the last 30 days, Justin. All right, Geek Chic. In what year was search engine Google founded? Oh, Frank is here. Frank, you're here. Frank, I'm sorry. I tried to block a penis and you got blocked instead. And that means the penis didn't get blocked. Yeah, because of you, Nick. You got me there. You with your super hearts on the last broadcast. Uh, now I feel bad because I feel like Frank can't comment because he was blocked. Nobody's gotten the answer. And Frank's probably he's like, I know this answer. No. 98, there you go, Kylo. Uh-oh, Frank, Frank, we need you back. Frank, make a troll account so you can come in and make sure Kylo doesn't win because he's about to win. Just kidding, I want Kylo to win too. I, I like all of you guys, don't worry. <laughs> all right, so let's see how far we are into the game. We're only going to go for an hour, so we have about 23 minutes left, and there are some four-point questions coming up, so it could be anyone's game. Yep, Lizzie, 1998. Google was founded in 1998. Yeah, cock blocker, exactly. exactly. Oh, my God. Lock the selfie. You jinxed that other person. You both said that. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Steven, there you are. You can't comment. Okay, thank you so much for coming on your other account. I appreciate that. I'm really sorry. I unblocked you. I followed you. I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, hopefully your this account has just as much luck as your other one. And I'll put it all together with this with your points here. All right. <clears throat> what are the first three words of the Bible? What are the first three words of the Bible? I would have known this one too. Ed, I'm so happy you're awake. I'm just going to keep being excited about this. What are the first three words of the Bible? In the beginning, Stihoon! Yes, he's back. You guys had a little bit of a respite, but he's in the double digits now. You better step up your game. This is fake. <laughs> I thought you were saying the scope was fake, and then I realized you are talking about the Bible. <laughs> the first three words in the Bible. This is fake. <laughs> Everyone's so mad that Frank's getting points. <laughs> oh my god, I love my life so much. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Athletic feats. Oh god, I don't even know what that means. Oh, I'm not going to say this right, but I'm going to try. This is not English. You don't have to take a timeout, Stephen. Don't worry about it. Once upon a time. You're all suckers, Genesis 1-1. One -one. <laughs> You're all suckers. Okay. Ban Frank again. <laughs> Just, can, we, uh, can we block Frank? <laughs> All right. Jo de Palme was a French precursor of which well-known sport? Jo de Palme, I think. Jo de Palme. What? Jo, 
Jeux de Pomme was a French precursor of which well-known sport? In the beginning, Frank got blocked by Taylor, and Taylor was good. <laughs> nope, not polo. Tennis! Dr. Horrible won. It is tennis. Yes. Tennis. Tennis. You guys like my French? We. Oui. Next category is pop culture. And the question is, I'm going to need first and last name to get the point for this. One point, I need first and last name, ping pong marbles. <laughs> what German actor played the murderer in Fritz Lang's film, M? Wee, oui, wee. Oui. See, <laughs> I like it, Araceli. What German actor played the murderer in Fritz Lang's film, M? Not Michael Jackson, not Taylor Swift. First and last name. German actor played the murderer in Fritz Lang's film M. I have a cat hair on me. You don't know Ashley? Well, that came in pretty quick. <laughs> not Adolf Hitler. What the heck? He's not an actor. Boris Karloff? No. Laurel and Hardy? David Hasselhoff? Why is everything David Hasselhoff? The German. No. Peter Lorre? Yes. Lizzie Bear. Swift and Taylor, you spelled it correct, but I'm going to give it to Lizzie Bear because she only forgot one R, and who cares why you even need two R's. All right. Two points. Yes. Yes. Someone broke out of the curse of the one point. Peter Lorre. Yep. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it seems like some of you guys know who that is, and I'm glad. Not Angela Merkel. No. <laughs> Next category is Anything Goes. And the question is, lumpia is a favorite dish of what culture? Maybe lumpia, L-U-M-P-I-A, lumpia, <laughs> lumpia, 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 not sure. Is a favorite dish of what culture? Philippines, Lizzie, yes, yes, girl, yes, Filipino culture. Mm -hmm. Ferrari knew that, Chris knew that, Herbie knew that. Uh, Dirk knew that. You guys are pretty good. Ed did not know that. Scoops knew that. Kylo knew it. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Ooh, this is a good one. Oompa Loompa, sorry. Okay. You love lumpia? What is lumpia? Can you send me a recipe for it? Lizzie is my new recipe guru. And maybe at the end of next year, we'll put out a healthy cookbook from all the recipes that I've adapted from all these beautiful souls. Stu knew it and doesn't want to answer. I'm sure he knew all of these. Your answer comes in so late, it sounds like you're copying other people, Andre. Jordan. <laughs> Everyone wants 10 points. Oh my God. Pork and vegetables wrapped and fried. Oh my God. It sounds like an egg roll. Like egg rolls? It's an egg roll. Oh yeah. Bananas wrapped and fried also sounds good. Plantanas. Wait, what did they say? Plant, not plantains, but what do they call them? Plant, plantanas or something. What am I talking about? Is it like couscous? No, but I do like couscous. My doctor gave me a topical cream for lumpia. Are you sure that the cream wasn't called lumpia? <laughs> All right. Which U.S. state is in a group of islands? It isn't very healthy. That's you can make it healthy though. Plantanos. Yes, thank you, Nick. Hey, Steph. Plantano. Thank you, Martin. Hawaii. Stihoon. <laughs> He's like, screw it. I'm just going to start guessing again. It's no fun to just sit in that play, right? Hawaii. A lot of you guys got Hawaii. Yeah, Ashley. Boom. 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 Ashley, you got it before Lizzie. All right. Okay. Geek chic. Hey, Steph. You guys, Steph Ray Arts, that's the one who was just in my broadcast right before this on split screen, the artist. She's an art therapist. She's awesome. So follow her. All right. Geek chic. The lag is killer. If you have really bad lag, try going out and coming back in. You can't get the real trivia, so you just answer the side questions. <laughs> I was first and she wasn't even looking. I don't think that's what happened, MMA. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. What does IBM stand for? What does IBM stand for? Hey, Jag. I 
I have to reach out to you, Jag. I think I'm going to start. I have a, an idea for 2018, and I think I want you to be part of it if you want to be part of it. International information, bu international business machines. Yes, Eric. What? Yes. Boom. Eric's like, give me them points. Give me that book. I want the book. Frank can't have it. Instant body message. No, come on. Instant body massage would have been better. International business machines. That's right, Tammy. You got it too. Inconsistent beta male. Wait, what? Irritable bowel movements. <laughs> Infectious bowel movements. Ew. Ew, Chris. That's gross. All right. Last category. We're booked. What is the Japanese poem with five syllables, seven syllables, and then five, five syllables called, hey Atari, you're so fine. You don't think the comments are coming in right? Hey Del, they're not in the right order, Ferrari. I'm sorry, this is how I'm seeing them. Hey Peter, how are you, Hayden? I haven't seen you in so long. Haiku, Lizzie Bear with Haiku. She's coming for you, Steven. She's coming, she's coming in hot. It is a Haiku. Haiku. A lot of you guys knew that. Yep, Steph, KKO, Terry Lynn, Nick, MMA Junkies, who didn't spell it right, Kylo. <laughs> I like how Chris spells Haiku. Doe, Blue, Iris Deli, yes. Doe is really good at this, too. Dim Sum Po, what? What? All right. Athletic feats. Oh, God. Our favorite part of the night. When we get to the four-point questions, all four points go to <laughs> Lizzie. All four points go to one person. You have to put all four answers in one comment. Jordan, <laughs> get ready. All four answers have to go in one comment, and if you get it first, you get all four points. So this could totally change the game. This could totally change it, unless Frank gets it, in which case I'm just going to keep on going. Red, yellow, blue, and green. All points go to Frank. All right. Name the four main professional sports leagues in the United States. Name the four main professional sports leagues in the United States. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. <laughs> hey, Phil. Name the four main professional sports leagues in the United States. Oh, and I'm sorry, guys. You can just do the just the acronyms. Yeah, just like Seahoon did. MLB, NBA, NFL. Wait, did I say that right? I think that is right. NFL, NHL, NBA, MLB. Yes, yes, Stehoon got it. Sorry, guys. All is fair in trivia. It's okay. We have five more chance, five more four point questions, okay? Unless I mess it up, which happens. Because if I like grab a comment and it's not correct, I usually miss them. Hey, Phil. So we'll see. Okay, now on this one, you don't have to do first and last names as long as you just give me all four names, okay? So it doesn't have to be first and last names, just the four names of the people. Name the four main characters of Seinfeld. Name, I don't think Frank has ever won one of my trivia games, you guys, so don't panic. Name the four main characters of Seinfeld. Mute everyone and make the next question 25 points for Scoops. You really want the book, don't you, Scoops? <laughs> Name the four main characters. Elaine, Jerry, George, and Kramer. Jordan Davis. Yes. That was quick. Yes, you're up to five points. You're now in second place, just like that. <laughs> Doe. No. Ed got it. You don't feel like typing that much? That's fine. It doesn't see, it seems like this book is probably for you. You don't even want to type. <laughs> oh my god, this I would never know. Again, here, you only need their name, only, you know, first or last name, however they go by, but you do not need to put their full names. Okay, Axel. So again, this is four names. Sorry, Ashley. This is four names. You have to put them all in one comment, and four points goes to the first person that gets it right. Okay? We were celebrating Seinfeld when we did Happy Festivus the other day, <laughs> last week. We did the airing of the grievances. We did feats of strength. There was no poll. It was fun. Name the four main protagonists in Mean Girls. Name the four main protagonists in Mean Girls. The four main protagonists 
and Mean Girls. I definitely would not have known this. Hopefully somebody knows. North, South, East, and West? No. Nick said WTF. Sonam, Taylor, Chloe, and Candy. Yes! Pass. You can't say pass. Michael Jackson. Jag will get this. <laughs> Mock would get this. It's her favorite movie. Oh my god, Mock, where are you? I don't... Yeah. Doe, Shannon, Kylo, and Lizzie. Becky, 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 and Becky. Zoe, Lisa, Beth, and Lila. Oh, no, you guys. What? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll ask one last time, and then I'll give you a 10-second countdown. Oh, wait. Jay Gardner, you have to get all four. You have to have all four, you guys. Oh, my God, you're missing one. I wouldn't have even known Regina, so you guys are doing better than me. Oh, wait. Did this person get it? No. No. Regina, Gretchen, Katie. That's correct. But the other one you didn't get. Hey, Sonia. Oh, wait, wait. Iris Ellie. Iris Ellie. Gina. No. Lizzie? No. Regina, Lizzie, Gretchen, and Katie. No. Lizzie's not. No. Regina, Gretchen, Katie, and Karen. Yes! The Joshua Lambert got it first. Nice! Representing for the dudes. <laughs> Nick said the mean one, the other mean one, the kind of mean one, and the nice one. No. Gretchen, Katie, Regina, not Katie again. No, you guys are missing Karen. Mock the selfie, you just missed the question about Mean Girls, which I hear is your favorite movie. Hey, Devin, welcome to the party. Yeah, Karen. Karen, I guess. Don't ask me. I didn't write the movie or the questions or the answers. Mm -hmm. Karen. Okay. Next category is past, present, and future. <laughs> Steven said, hey, at least I didn't know that one. Your cousin was obsessed with it. That's okay, Josh. You don't have to explain yourself. We're all very impressed. Your ESPN failed you. Your ESPN. Oh, ESP. <laughs> all right. Oh, interesting. I didn't know this. Hmm. Okay. This is kind of cool. This is like, this will get your brain going. Oh, you shot a music video? Cool, Devin. That's really cool. You only watch Nice Girls, right? Well, thank you for the love, Devin. I hope you sleep well. Platonic love, yes, of course, always. All right. Name four U.S. federal holidays that occur on the same date each year. So they're not all four on the same day as each other. It's just every year they're on the same date. So, like, it's not Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving come, is on, like, the third Thursday of November, so it's a different date each year. These are the four federal holidays that occur on the same date each year, and there's only four. You guys all have to put all four answers in one comment, and <laughs> die guy, all four answers in one comment, and then you'll get all four points. So I'll ask again, because I know Sonam just got here. Hi, my love. Name four U.S. federal holidays that occur on the same date each year. Armistice Day. What is Armistice Day? Christmas, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, and Flag Day, Labor Day. No, not Labor Day. No, not MLK. Christmas, no. no. Oh, Halloween is a good one, but it's not a national holiday. Christmas, no, Halloween's not a national holiday, guys. No, not Arbor Day or Earth Day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, not Flag Day. Why is everyone saying Flag Day? Oh, I think this one's... No, not that one. No, a lot of you guys, oh, no, it's not MLK, Martin Luther King Day. Some of these might not be um, federal holidays. Yeah, not MLK. A lot of you guys are putting MLK in there. Not President's Day. No, not President's Day. Oh, oh, wait, I think somebody got it. Christmas, New Year's. No, crap, not Memorial. Ah, oh, crap, it's going to be so hard. I hope I'm not missing anyone. No. No, not Labor Day. I think I think we're gonna have to call it quits here because I'm probably missing some comments. No, it's not Memorial Day. Yeah, I'm missing some, and I'm sure I'm probably someone might have gotten it, and I might have missed it. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Did you get it? Christmas? No, it's not Memorial Day, you guys. Oh God, you're all saying things. Christmas? Oh my God, dough. 
<laughs> Thank God. Oh, this one was so hard to judge. I'm giving it to dough. I don't even care. Vegan dough, you got it. I don't know if you got it first, but I saw yours first. And I apologize if anyone got it before you. You get four points, my love. And the answer was New Year's Day, aka tomorrow on Monday. Monday? What's today? On Monday. New Year's Day. So that's always on January 1st. Veterans Day. I don't know what day that's on. November something. Independence Day, which is always on the 4th of July. And Christmas, which is always December 25th. So it was New Year's Day, Veterans Day, 4th of July or Independence Day, and Christmas. November 22nd. Okay. 11. Oh, everyone's saying 11. 11, 11. Oh my god, that seems like that should be very easy to remember. I will remember it now. Thank you guys. You always teach me so much. You just guessed a lot. Of, did I find you a new wife? Um, mm, yes, your new wife is... Hmm, let's see, who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Um, how about Lizzie? Lizzie Bear. Do you want to marry Devin? I now pronounce you man and wife. I, nobody said I do or anything, but you may kiss. You may kiss. The bride. Oh, I'm your wife? I love you. You're my wife, too. Don't tell Sonam. I think Sonam is here. All right. Two more four-point questions. I know you missed singles night, Devin. Like, what the hell? Heck. Heck. I meant to say heck. Can you guys see my comments? I can, Jay Gardner 88 I can see your comment. All right. Okay. All four answers must be in one comment, and all four points go to one person. It was a TV quote, calm down. No. No. No, I will not calm down. I will marry you, whether you're willing or not. Single and ready to Pringle, because once you pop, the fun do not stop. Name the four main parts of a flower. Name the four main parts of a flower. Four main parts of a flower. I wouldn't have known the answer to this, because I've never heard of that weird fourth thing. You have to put it all in one comment, and STEM is not correct. STEM is, nope. If you say STEM, it's not going to count. Nope, STEM is not one of the answers. Okay, thank you, Nick. Nope, not STEM. There's no STEM. Jordan! Roots? No, not roots. Oh, oh! Jay Gardner, I think you got it. Pistol, stamen, petal, and sepal. Jay Gardner, 88. He just asked us if we could see his comments, and indeed, we can see them, and he just got four points. Boom. Oh, we're about to run off the page, aren't we? That's okay. We'll give it one more. Okay, the answer was stamen. Oh, yeah, egg, egg bot's not in here. Egg drop's not working at all. Like, the last, this is my third broadcast in a row. It's just not even working at all. Like, I can't see, I can't do a heart race. I can't see comments. No one can block. There's no bot in the room. Okay, so the answer was stamen, pistol, petal, and sepal, sepal. Yeah, there's no bot in here, Justin. All right, last category. This is our last four-point question, all right? We're booked. And you don't have to say their full names. You can just say whatever name you want. There's four people, four names. They all have to be in one comment, and all four points go to one person. All right? And I think this is a, actually might be the last question because we're just about at an hour. Or actually, we'll do, we'll do six more questions after this just to finish it out. Don't kick your dog, okay? Your daughter came to my house, and she kicked my dog, Pink Sphinx. Wow. I... Don't even know why I even come back on here sometimes. I'm just kidding. I love you all, platonically. Name the four children that fly to Neverland. Oh my god, Justin, I'm pretty sure Vegan Doe just fell in love with you for that answer. Hey, Scott. Name the four children that fly to Neverland. <laughs> you kick my dog. No, she kicked my dog. Can we get a 15-point question? You cannot. No. So people can catch up to you, Jordan. <laughs> Jane Pan. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, there was no one named Jane. Hey, Scott. Wendy and three others. That's true. Nick, Ed, Sonam, and Taylor. Aw. No. Michael Jackson's four kids. 
Peter, Wendy, John, and Michael. I think that's correct. Peter, Wendy, John, Michael. Yes, the dab spot. Oh, I like your name. Do you scope, Danielle? Oh, you do scope. You scope? I'm totally following you right now. Okay. I feel like indoor smokers should follow her too. You guys probably have a lot in common. Oh, crap. I just followed her and totally forgot what her name was. Oh, the dab spot, right? Right, right? Something like that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> something like that four points you never tell me to... <laughs> where'd you get wendy from wendy wendy is the name oh you already know danielle haha -ha. and it is the dab spot i'm good all right six last questions and the game is over so i'm pretty sure that me oh i gotta move you guys up Pretty sure that means no one can actually win, so why even do that? Because six more, even if the five people, yeah, they still can't beat Frank. Frank, your choice. Do you want to do six more questions, or do you want to just call it game now? Because you win regardless, so it's up to you. You want to have, is it just fun for you to answer questions, or is it like, okay, this is enough? Hey, Katie. Oh, Katie's here. We have to do at least one more question, so I'm going to ask this question while you answer me because you don't need to guess anymore because you can't lose because <laughs> it's fun right frank smells smells amazing smells like success smells like victory smells like knowledge he said it doesn't matter okay athletic feats scott just got here and he demands a recount if you win six more you could win no you couldn't they're all one point each and then you would have 10 points and he would have 15. okay What tennis player said, first and last name, guys, first and last name. What tennis player said, champions keep playing until they get it right? Protest, Frank. What tennis player said, champions keep playing until they get it right? What? You want me to make it eight points each? Nope. I haven't seen the answer yet. Question is, what tennis player said, champions keep playing? <gasps> yes, Lizzie, Jay Gardner. I'm gonna give a point to each of you guys. Okay, so we're gonna give one to Jay Gardner and one to Lizzie Bear because um, she said Billie Jean and you said Billie Jean King. So we'll just give you each one point. Did I just give you five points? Is that what, is that what it was supposed to be? I hope so. I don't know. You have five points now. <laughs> Billie Jean King was correct. Eight points? No, I don't want to do eight. No, no, no. I'm just going to play the way we normally play. We're just going to keep it all nice and predictable. Pop culture. Because most people don't actually even want to win this. Most people just play because they like to play trivia. Like, they don't even care about this book, most likely. So, Billie Jean's not your love? Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. <laughs> Again, first and last name. First and last name. <laughs> Steven. He's making up rules. Who said, I see myself as an intelligent, sensitive human with the soul of a clown, which forces me to blow it at the most important moments. You need the book, though? Well, maybe if Frank doesn't want it, he'll give it to you. Who said, I see myself as an intelligent, sensitive human with the soul of a clown, which forces me to blow it at the most important moments. First and last name. You want to win the book, Araceli? Do it. No, nope, not Donald Trump. Taylor Swift, Charles Manson, Walt Disney. Say what? You said that, Scoops. <laughs> Robin Williams. Jim Morrison. Yes. Katie Lee. Oops, too far. Katie Lee, too. Guys, we're running out of space. Shrink you down a bit. Jim Morrison. All right. Had to get on the board. Boom. I love it. I love it. Next category is anything goes. Anything goes. Oh, this is a good one. First and last name to get the point. Who said life is like a box of chocolates? You never know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. There you go, Melanin. There's your... There's your movie trivia for you. 
You want to keep your score perfect? <laughs> okay. Forrest Gump, Jordan Davis. That's correct. Jordan, 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 Jordan gets one of the points. All right. Past, present, and future. <clears throat> Ooh, this is a long name. All right, first and last name. Who said, we learn from history that we learn nothing from history? Who said, and if it's really lagged because all of you guys knew Forrest Gump, leave the broadcast and come back in and then guess. Who said, we learn from history that we learn nothing from history? <laughs> Every single one of you claims that you said it first. Welcome to trivia. <laughs> Every time I say Jordan. <laughs> nope. This person has a really long name. Oh, there it is. Jay Gardner, George Wilhelm. Yes. Wait, that was Jordan, right? Crap. Was that Jordan? Wait, who did I just say? Crap. Crap. Um, let's see. Was that him? Or was that Jay Gardner? I need you guys. I, I know your picture. It was you. It was you. It was you. Yeah, I thought it was you. I was like, wait, I don't think it was Jordan. Okay, there you go, Jay. I got you. <laughs> now you're tied with Jordan, though. The other Jordan's like, it was me. Okay, Google. Bangladeshian Prime Minister John Cena. No, Devin. Next category is Geek Chic. Catherine Heigl. Geek Chic. Who said, first and last name, who said, never memorize something that you can look up? Hmm, that's pretty awesome. Your name's Jordan Gardner. Oh my god, there's three Jordans in it to win it right now. That's awesome. I love this. <laughs> Super Jag, Lady Gaga, no. Nope. Oh, Mike, you have to do first and last name, not just the last name. Katie got it with Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. We have to do it that way because otherwise, if I just let some people say the last name, then they're always going to get it first. So we just make people say the full name. Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. Not Gary Vaynerchuk. <laughs> All right, this is the last question of the game, you guys. Thank you so much for playing. I do have a little announcement at the end, so stay tuned because you might, the person who won the book might not be who you think it is. All right, we're booked. Last question of the game. First and last name is required to get the points. Last point of the game, question is, who said, kill me or you are a murderer? Who said, kill me or you are a murderer? Hey, Brennan. Kill me or you are a murderer. Not John Cena. You'll get to the book later. There you go, Kylo. <laughs> First and last name. Not James Brown. Not Buddha. Not Fat Albert. <laughs> Charles Manson. Kill me or you are a murderer. Franz Kafka. Jay Gardner. Yes. You went out with a bang, didn't you? Did you put yourself in second place? Yes. Look at that. He was the third to last person to get points, and he got seven points and came in second place. First place goes to Stehoon Frank, so now I'll give my little announcemento, which is, if you've been in my trivia games before, you already know this, but Frank may or may not want this book. If you want the book, Frank, you just have to message me on Twitter with your address, and I'll ship it out to you probably in the next week. If you don't want the book, there's two options. You can either pick someone into the... You can pick someone in the broadcast to win. So if you see someone that wanted it and you don't really want it and you're not going to read it, you can have you can sponsor them to have it. You can give it to them. Or you can recycle it back into the game. So nobody wins it and we give it away on a future broadcast. It is a book about not procrastinating. They're saying if you had to eat a frog, it would be the hardest thing you'd have to do all day. Vegan dough! Vegan dough! I, I promise it's not really about eating frogs. It's just like a, it's a metaphor for like the hardest thing you would have to do and doing that first. You always want to do the hardest thing first. Yes, Doe, just send me your address. I need your address anyway because I have to send you your apron. So Doe is not only going to get this book in the package because I still haven't sent the aprons out. She's also going to get a fem yoga apron. Doo, doo, doo. 
Putting it on. I'm not really going to put it on because it's like not size to me. But that's okay. It's size to you, vegan dough, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. It's size to you. <laughs> just kidding. It's adjustable in size. I'm just making fun of your boobs. Okay. <laughs> I'm not making fun of them. I want them. Yes, so many presents. So give me your address. You win this. And if you guys want to sponsor me so I can give away more awesome stuff on this channel, femyoga.com. And I'll be back. Yes, and it has my DNA on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like the book, which I poked myself in the eye with. So there's a little bit of eye gook in there for you, too. It, it doesn't have bacon splatter, but we can make that happen. No, not for vegan, though. Not for vegan, though. It's not my apron. I should have worn my apron for bacon scope. I didn't even think of it. <laughs> Missed opportunities. I'll be back when? I think today. I still have your glitter fart, Ashley. <laughs> That's beautiful. I really like that. Uh, yeah, I still have 35 minutes left of content to do. So where did I really put the book? On top of the apron? Can we send you ether? Yeah, you can send me Ethereum. You can send me... I should win one of Ruby Noose's aprons. I'll gladly get one of Ruby Noose's aprons. <laughs> Stephen goes, wait a minute. There's iGook. Doe uh, can't have it. Now I want it. <laughs> I love it so much. All right. I love this community. So if you are a sponsor, go ahead and message me on Twitter what content you'd like to see tonight. Otherwise, <gasps> you guys stream lives? Yes, Lizzie. Yes, egg drop isn't working today. It doesn't seem like. Yes, you can send me Bitcoin. I've gotten Bitcoin in the past. Actually, I was sponsored by Bitcoin by a Bitcoin in August, and I made two hundred something dollars on that. So that's like the best um, sponsorship I've ever gotten. You'll look for me later. Okay, all right, Chris. Thanks for being here. Yes, though you are a sponsor now. So let me know what you want me to do. You zip line with fire. Ooh, no sense. You're going to go send me some crypto now? <gasps> Yay, do you need my wallet ID? Just let me know what you need. Message me, email me, whatever works for you, and I'll get back to you. Theron Q. Dumont is a pseudonym. I didn't know that. No. All thanks to me and Sonam. Oh, love you, Lizzie. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, tell me what you guys want to see. Otherwise, maybe we'll just do, like, a celebration scope because we hit our financial target. And it was just a great day. It was a great day. I just love this. And we're going to have a great year. And it's New Year's Eve. But it's not really New Year's Eve. But it's kind of. Okay, anyway. I mean, it is New Year's Eve. But same as not like New Year's Eve night. It's like the night before New Year's Eve night. All right. Thank you, Jordan. Jordan 3. There are like a million Jordans in here. And there's Julian. We got Jordans. We got Julians. We got Dannys. We got Brennans. We got Dum Duminos. Duminos. Do you do this for money for what? I don't really know what that means. I'm not sure what that means. Do you do this for money for what? Do Are you asking me, do I do this for money or what? Um, yes, I do this for money. I didn't see how to send crypto from your site. It's not on there because I don't think you're supposed to really like advertise your wallet ID. Oh, who would I marry you to? Right there, right there, Devin. I'm single and I drive a VW. That's your new boyfriend, I mean husband. Email you my crypto wallet. Okay. Emailing. Emailing. All right, I'll end this broadcast and then I'll email it. But I don't want to forget, so I'm going to start start it. Actually, oh, I don't think I have your email in this one. I need the other email. Do I do this for money for drugs? No. <laughs> that I can answer very easily. All right, Justin. There you are. Okay, okay. Crypto wallet. All right, I'll send that to you right up after this broadcast, and then I'll come back with whatever my sponsors request for a little celebration party scope. Thanks for being here. Remember, you're all worthy of being loved and feeling comfortable in your own skin. This has been a moment in time with Taylor. Oh, I usually give a mention to everyone who got points. Frank, Iraceli, Dom, Chavez, Lizzie, Frank, Johnson, Joshua, Biken, Bacon Eagles Drugs, there we go, Jordan, Country Music Singers, BM Llamas, Kylo, Dr. Horrible, Eric, Doe, Jordan, The Dab Spot, and Katie Lee, too. Oh, Danielle. Okay. Yes! Thank you, guys. You guys are amazing. And we'll hide that now. We'll get ready for the outro video. Thank you for watching. This has been A Moment in Time with Taylor and Ashley and Devin and Justin and Brennan and Scott and Doe. And Brennan needs to poop. And Scott says, wait.
but I don't think he really needs me to wait. He's just probably trolling me, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Patiently. And Jag. You take care too, Jag. Oh, Doe. I want Doe to be part of my thing. I have an idea for this year too. You're going to close the door? This is good. Bye, Scoops. Heart to you, Justin. Come on, Scott. You hold up the whole, the whole thing. Glitter poop. And Julio. <laughs> He said, wait, and then left. He left? No, 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 no. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Scott.